back with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a brand new sml banger video that dropped last night this one is called sml movie brooklyn guys ear problem and as you guys can see in the uh, thumbnail we got that boy mike tyson which we know is one of the greatest knockout artists of all time in the history of boxing and on top of that he bit off holyfield's ear and um i just hope that brooklyn guy isn't getting into the ring with Mike Tyson in today's video or something because Mike Tyson got a fight coming up with Jake Paul too you know what I mean so if you guys are going to watch that fight by the way please let me know in the comment section down below I'm going to watch it I don't know what to believe I be thinking the fights are fake so I have no idea who's going to win this fight I don't even want to pick of course I want to say Mike Tyson but I mean we don't know so let me know what you guys think but before we get into this I will be dropping a video over on my gaming channel later on tonight after this so if you guys would like to support that the link for that will be in the description down below make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel as well with notifications turned on that way you do not miss any of the uploads of course and let's dive right into this banger sml video let's get it come on come on i don't care about vincent van gogh's ear hurry up and go to the next one boy <laughs> what you do why is brooklyn guy looking for ears though he got his ears just fine to buy evander holyfield's ear that mike tyson bit off <laughs> that's what i said to holyfield okay he's trying to buy <laughs> <laughs> bit off. No right. Has it and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right. For our the only way I would be doing that is if I was going to have, have a come up off of that. The Holyfield's right ear that was Ooh. not by Mike Tyson and verify <laughs> the authenticity. Of I go I love when Anthony does like these little voiceovers. He he has he has he's he's so good with this accent shit that he be doing with these voiceovers. Uh, right. We have the Mr. Evan the Holyfield <laughs> <laughs> this thing so Lavelle look crazy. Holyfield, they got the bandaid on his ear. Ear, Come on, bro. Oh, what's that? This ear is your ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The ear on the table is in fact <laughs> the ear that Mike Tyson bit off of you. Hey, hey let's switch seats. I can hear your ass. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. The yellow boxers with the suit inside. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I'm on your ass right now. What the hell is you wearing? <laughs> so, Mr. Hollyfield, yeah. everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my ear right now. And why are you <laughs> selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills, do. <laughs> it's the rent, you know. I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, folks. Even the Hollyfield <laughs> Why wouldn't to you get your shit re Why so wouldn't you get your ear repaired by a plastic $1, surgeon? Do I hear $1,000? A thousand going once. A thousand going twice. Nothing. Okay. Well, damn. Five hundred dollars. Anyone for five hundred dollars? <laughs> Everybody pretty much like, no. Nah, Mike Tyson already beat his ass and beat his ear off. We don't. We don't want no parts of that. You're not worth anything. That's crazy. Five hundred is too much. I can get him lower. <laughs> you on the back side? <laughs> of course, Brooklyn got trying to finesse the per usual. Understood. Maybe a hundred dollars. Do I hear a hundred dollars? I get your earring with it. Come on. A hundred dollars? What's an earring? I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. That's, right. That's not going to pay your rent and your bills, yes. though. Yes. A hundred dollars? I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Yes. Boy, what are you going to do? I really need to find out why a Brooklyn guy needs well, I'm this ear. I'm going to put my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. Whenever I meet people, I'm going to say, hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it. And they're going to say, no, uh And then I'm going to whip it out and show them. And they're going to think I'm cool. But how are they going to know it was really so you're his ear? Buying this ear to think so that you can show that you're cool. Well, when does it get ear? Well, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, let's go to bed. I can't Karen wait is so to get slow. My ear. Oh, when does Karen, it get I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm not gonna count sheep while I sleep. I'm gonna count ears. One ear, two Karen ears. got some big ass eyes. Boy, and her and Brooklyn guy got the same your eyes. eyes are still open. I know, that's how excited I am. Boyney, you wanna fool around? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boyney, that's icky! Hey, yo! She don't even Karen Loki don't even got ears. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Morning, Karen! Boyney, it's too early for this! I'm gonna go track my package. Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered. Package destroyed? What? <laughs> oh my mama, y'all. If I ever seen a message like that after ordering something, I would go crazy, bro. But not only am I gonna get my money back, but I'm also gonna get that product for free at that point. You feel me? Uh, package, destroyed. package destroyed is absolutely what crazy. Wrong? Come I'm on, on the UPS bro. website and it says my package was What are we destroyed? doing, UPS? What are we doing? What? I don't know. Let me check the news. <laughs> Breaking news, UK. Breaking okay. news. A UPS plane has crashed into a shop. Oh my gosh. All the packages <laughs> and killing hundreds of people. What? What are the chances? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's crazy. Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe it. I used to wanted to work for UPS growing up. All those children are dead. Oh, my package is gone. Boy, this family is suffering out there. I'm suffering, Karen. I'm the one whose package got destroyed. What is going on? guy is so like selfish, bro. Stop being so selfish, Boyney. That part. <laughs> Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off. It was irreplaceable. How on earth could this have happened? Cut it out with the puns, Boyney. It's not a joke. <laughs> that part. I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people died, but you can always make more. You know what Brooklyn guy is being right now? Irresponsible. <laughs> Literally. You can make more of Amanda Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not going to do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not going to let him bite the other one off. Cut it out, Boyney. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to go to the auction house, and I'm going to say, how are you going to make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite the Vander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. Buddy! No, I'm going to go there and tell him. <laughs> Brooklyn guy about to get his ass knocked out if you walk up to Mike Tyson saying some shit like that. Yeah. Or Evander Holyfield. Well, in any case, I am the Honorable <laughs> Judge Boomer. And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn guy who is demanding to get Evander Holyfield's other ear because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn guy, explain what's going on. <laughs> this sounds so I made up as hell. Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bid off for $100 in an auction. And I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then bam, the plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind. So now they owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Hmm. Very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should Bad be part. their job to get him a new holy filled ear. Hmm. Yes, that does, he does make have sense. A, he does have it a is point. UPS's fault that their plane crashed. So, Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want Evander Holyfield's ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, <laughs> and I want you to make Mike. You know what's crazy? And then listening to the Brooklyn guy rant right now, guys, like that—that that put a good perspective in my head, like. What what might have no value to me might have all the value in the world to you. Like everybody has something different that they like that could be priceless to them type shit. Not even talking about like family, friends. We're not talking about humans. We're talking about objects. You know, I'm not a materialistic person, but there is certain things that I like so much that for me, it could be priceless. But maybe for you guys, it couldn't be. So let me know if there's anything like that out there that you guys think is priceless in your opinion. Tyson, bite her off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Evander Which is Holyfield's crazy that this is a off. body part well, of a human, though. Oh, <laughs> I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? Wait, what? I could bite his other ear off? That's not yes. honorable, you Judge Pooby. You <laughs> hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear off without it being considered was a crime. But after that 24 hour period, it will become a crime. You just you allowed us on. Thank you, Your Honor. No, <laughs> Brooklyn guy about to get his ass knocked though. Hey, Fuck out! Like <laughs> Literally, bro. <laughs> it's really important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair though. Thank you. You look good. Oh, well, I don't feel good. Did I don't you see, see no patches in the front today. He ain't stressed in this episode. <laughs> I know, that was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, oh I my didn't gosh. think about that. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever. But my package was one of a kind. It was irreplaceable. <laughs> oh, <your laughs> Brooklyn guy needs his teeth knocked out, bro. No, it was a Vander Holyfield's <laughs> ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Oh. Okay, so why do you even care if it was only $100? Because it's not about the money, Marvin. It's about the ear. And the judge says, I have 24 hours to legally bite off Evander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one. He was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, but I just came to you to see if you know where Evander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is. I don't even know what he does now. Right. Mar <laughs> Marvin Demner doesn't even know anything about no sports history or nothing. All Marvin knows is sitting on the red couch and watching TV every day. Well, maybe you can try calling his agent and asking his <laughs> you agent. You probably never even heard of Evander Holyfield. This is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, I Googled his agent's phone number and I'm going to call him. Hello, you've reached Steve Stelberger. It would be Steve Stelberger. Uh, yes, do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do. Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? 
Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it <laughs> in my mouth? What? Hey, yo! I'm gonna bite his ear off hey, because the judge yeah. said I could. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Steve Stelberg oh, hung that bitch off fast as fuck. Yeah, I probably didn't. So. I wouldn't have said you were gonna bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> Okay. I, I, bro, I feel like Marvin in this situation. When my friends is telling me to call somebody for them because they not answering the phone for that friend, I'll be like, bro, no, I'm not, <laughs> not sure. giving out my number and calling okay, people Tree. like that, bro. Hello, no. you reach Steve Stanley. Marvin, right Marvin's stronger than me. Uh, yes, you represent a Vander Holyfield, correct? This isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, no, no. This is a <laughs> business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Uh, okay, well, then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let him know you're coming. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit, okay, this is about to get ugly. Damn. The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go <laughs> over there and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Brooklyn guy about to get Hello, knocked the fuck the out. Applebee's, what would you like to drink? Sir? <laughs> uh, oh, oh you, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I could, hey, you know, I'm missing the air now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. W what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you recognize me? <laughs> Oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You want an autograph? No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetize ear? Oh, uh, uh, what you got? What you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Ooh. <laughs> um, hmm. Hey, really, take <laughs> shrimp. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what do you want? Brooklyn guys, <laughs> Brooklyn guys, mustache right? makes him look like a pedophile, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Which one do you want? Take a good hard look. Hey, yo! How about an impossible cheeseburger? Uh, okay, yeah, an impossible burger. Got gotcha. you. I'll go put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburger ear and your complier mentor. That should look good as hell, actually. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna That's lie to you. Angels. Sorry. Jeez. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Whatever. Are, are you gonna watch me eat? Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. Uh, my burger? Y yeah, C can we, like, do it close to your face, though? Like, maybe we, like, Lady in the Trampet? Yeah, I would have been like, hey, bro, you gotta, you gotta be careful what you're saying around a professional boxer like that, Brooklyn guy. You could have been had your face punched off by oh, now. Man. I'm surprised right. you're still. Oh, Brooklyn guy had the balls to do it. Oh shit. Wait. Okay. Applebee's waiter right bites off Holyfield's ear. Holy How did he survive? While eating dinner, he actually did it. What? Ew, why would you still have it in your mouth? I don't know. I just <laughs> thought it was cool. Okay, well, that'd be like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting. Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Well, how would anyone know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this episode was definitely an earful, guys. <laughs> but no, like before I get up out of here, let me know. Give me a give me an ear pun in the comment section down below. Like I said, my ear pun was Brooklyn guy is ear responsible. Let me know your guys' ear pun in the comment section down below. And also let me know if, who's gonna win. Mike Tyson or Jake Paul. I'm very interested to see that fight. It's coming up sooner than you guys think. But uh, other than that, before we get up out of here, if you guys like to follow me on my gaming channel, link will be in the description down below. I'm posting a video over there later on after this one. Appreciate you guys for all the continued support. Love y'all. And I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.